Hello, beloved. Today I want to speak to you about being still when everything is chaotic. In the chaos of life, there's a whisper that calls to us, urging us to find peace amid the storms. It's a gentle reminder to be still, my soul, and know that there is a greater power at work, guiding us through every trial and triumph. Psalm 46, 10 says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. In this verse, we find assurance that God beckons us to quiet our hearts and trust in His sovereignty in moments of uncertainty. Life's journey is filled with ups and downs, twists and turns that often leave us feeling overwhelmed and uncertain. But in the midst of it all, there is a peace that surpasses understanding a peace that can only be found in the presence of the divine. Philippians 4, 6-7 reminds us, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. When we surrender our worries and fears to God, He grants us peace beyond human comprehension. Yet, being still doesn't always mean being inactive. It's about finding quiet confidence in God's plan and purpose for our lives. Even when we can't see the way forward, it's about trusting that He is working all things together for our good Romans 8.28 even when the path ahead seems uncertain. So, amid life's storms, when the waves threaten to overwhelm us, let us remember to be still, my soul. For in the stillness, we find strength. In the quiet, we find peace. And in the presence of God, we find hope that anchors our souls in every season of life. The words of be still, my soul, resonate deeply with the human experience, inviting us into a sacred space of silence and reflection, where the melody of life intertwines with the spaces in between. It's in these quiet moments that we find solace, drawing closer to the divine composer who orchestrates the symphony of our souls. Walking into that old chapel in New Jersey, the hallowed halls echoing with whispers of prayers past. I felt a sense of awe and wonder. The intricate stained glass windows painted tales of faith and devotion. Each brush stroke a testament to the dedication of those who had come before. As the organ pipes sang their solemn hymns, the room enveloped me in a profound silence a silence that spoke volumes without uttering a word. Life, with all its noise and clamor, often drowns out the gentle whispers of the soul. Yet, during chaos, the silence beckons us to pause, to listen, to be still. It's in this stillness that we find our true selves, stripped of pretense and posturing, bared before the presence of God. Hebrew scholar Ellen Davis beautifully translates Psalm 65, 1, reminding us that to God, silence itself is praise. In the quiet surrender of our hearts, we offer up a symphony of praise, not through words or deeds, but simply by being who we are, where we are, in the presence of the divine. The hymn's refrain, Be still, my soul. Your Jesus can repay, from His fullness, all He takes away, echoes the timeless truth that we are not alone in our journey. In moments of loss and longing, Jesus stands ready to fill the void with His boundless grace, composing a melody of redemption that transcends our earthly sorrows. Yet, embracing the silence doesn't come easily. It requires a relinquishing of control, a willingness to surrender to the ebb and flow of life's rhythms. Like notes on a page, we must learn to embrace both the highs and lows, trusting in the great composer to weave them into a harmonious whole.
and when we find ourselves unable to hear the music, surrounded by the cacophony of doubt and despair, we turn to our fellow travelers on this journey of faith. They become our voices of hope, singing the song of praise on our behalf, reminding us of the beauty that lies beyond the silence. In the end, Be Still My Soul is more than just a hymn. It's a timeless reminder of the power of silence and the symphony of grace that unfolds when we surrender to its embrace. So let us heed its call to be still before the Lord, to wait patiently for Him, and to begin the song of praise that echoes through eternity. The psalmist's exhortation to be still and know that I am God resonates deeply in the tumultuous landscape of our lives today. As we delve into the context of this verse and explore related scriptures, we find a profound message of trust, surrender, and divine intervention. In Exodus 14.14, 14, we are reminded that the Lord fights our battles for us. We need only to be silent, to trust in His power and provision. This verse speaks to the reality that we are not called to navigate life's challenges alone as Christians. Instead, we are invited to lean on God's strength, allowing Him to carry us through even the most daunting trials. The account in Mark 4.39 showcases the authority of Jesus over the forces of nature with a simple command, Peace, be still. He calms the raging storm, bringing about a great calm. In life's storms, we may question God's presence or His willingness to intervene. Yet, this verse reminds us that He is always with us, ready to bring peace and tranquility to our troubled hearts. Isaiah 32.17 speaks of the profound impact of righteousness, which leads to peace, quietness, and trust. When we align our lives with God's will and walk in righteousness, we experience a deep sense of peace that transcends circumstances. This peace is not fleeting, but endures forever, rooted in our trust in God's faithfulness and goodness. As we reflect on these scriptures, we are invited to embrace the stillness, knowing that God is sovereign and in control. In the midst of life's chaos and uncertainty, we can find refuge in His presence, trusting that He will fight for us, calm the storms, and lead us into everlasting peace. So let us heed the psalmist's call to be still and rest in the assurance of God's unfailing love and power. The imagery of Psalm 46 paints a vivid picture of a world in upheaval where mountains crumble, waters surge, and nations tremble. Yet, amidst the chaos, there is a resounding declaration of faith. God is our refuge and strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. In times of crisis, whether it be the shaking of the earth or the turmoil of a global pandemic like the coronavirus, the human spirit can find solace in the unwavering presence of God. As the world around us quakes with uncertainty, we can anchor our hearts in the unchanging character of our Creator. The challenges brought about by the pandemic have touched every aspect of our lives, from our physical health to our emotional well-being and financial stability. Yet, even in the face of adversity, we can find comfort in knowing that God remains our fortress our stronghold in times of trouble. Despite the upheaval described in Psalm 46, there is a powerful message of hope woven throughout its verses. It reminds us that when the worst imaginable scenarios unfold, when the foundations of our world seem to crumble, those who seek refuge in God will not be shaken. As the oceans roar and the mountains tremble, let us hold fast to the promise of Psalm 46. Let us trust in the Lord's unfailing love and strength, knowing that He is ever-present, ready to help and protect His people. 
In Him, we find peace that surpasses understanding, a peace that remains steadfast amidst the storms of life. So let us take refuge in God, our fortress and our strength, and rest assured that we are held secure in His mighty hands. Taking time to be still in God's presence each day is indeed a precious habit. It allows us to draw near to Him, to listen to His voice, and to gain His perspective on our lives and circumstances. Personally, I find great joy and fulfillment in spending time in prayer, reading scripture, and reflecting on its meaning. Choosing a book of the Bible and working through it systematically is an excellent way to deepen our understanding of God's Word and how it applies to our lives. Whether it's a familiar passage or less explored book, each verse has the potential to speak to us in unique ways. Meditating on Scripture involves more than just reading the words. It requires us to ponder their significance to consider how they intersect with our experiences and challenges. Keeping a journal of insights and prayers can be a powerful way to track our spiritual journey, recording moments of revelation and the ways in which God is at work in our lives. For those who prefer a structured approach, Bible study guides or workbooks provide valuable resources for delving deeper into Scripture. These guides offer insights, questions for reflection, and prompts for personal application, guiding us on a journey of discovery and growth. Ultimately, the key is to approach our time with God with an open heart and a willingness to listen. Whether through reading scripture, journaling, or using study guides, the goal is to cultivate a deeper relationship with God and to align our lives more closely with His will. So let us seize this opportunity to draw near to God, to be still in His presence, and to allow His Word to transform us from the inside out. Please remember to subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Don't worry about it. Pray about it. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the midst of chaos and uncertainty, we come before you, our rock and our refuge. We acknowledge your sovereignty over all things, knowing that even in the midst of turmoil, your hand is still guiding and sustaining us. Lord, we lift up all those who are experiencing chaos in their lives right now, whether it's due to personal struggles, health crises, financial hardships, or global uncertainty, we ask for your peace to descend upon them like a gentle dove. Grant them clarity in the midst of confusion, strength in the face of adversity, and hope in times of despair. Help them to trust in your unfailing love and to lean on your promises, knowing that you are always with us, even in the darkest of moments. May your presence be felt deeply by those who are struggling, bringing comfort to their hearts and calm to their spirits. Surround them with your angels, Lord, and let your light shine brightly in the midst of their darkness. We pray for wisdom for those in positions of leadership and authority, that they may make decisions guided by your wisdom and compassion. Give them the courage to act with integrity and justice, seeking the well-being of all. And Lord, we pray for healing for our broken world. Bring an end to the chaos and division that plague us, and unite us in your love and grace. In the name of Jesus, our Prince of Peace, we pray. Amen. Remember, claiming God's promises is a powerful practice that anchors our hearts in His truth and strengthens our faith in times of uncertainty. When fear or anxiety threatens to overwhelm us, declaring God's promises out loud can serve as a potent reminder of His faithfulness and presence with us, the assurance that God will never fail us or abandon us, as stated in Hebrews 13.5 is a foundational truth 
for every believer. It's a promise that resonates deep within our hearts, reminding us that we are never alone, even in the darkest moments of life. As followers of Christ, we carry this message of hope with us wherever we go. We are called to be beacons of light in a world shrouded in fear and uncertainty, proclaiming the unchanging faithfulness of our God. When others see the peace and confidence we have in the midst of life's storms, it serves as a powerful testimony to the reality of God's presence in our lives 